Morning, English time. And today is when you're going to edit and improve the writing you've produced for me this week. Now, there's two parts to editing and improving. You're very good at the editing, which is going through, checking for errors, improving your spellings, checking your punctuation right. It is improving it. It's improving it grammatically, but it's not making those big oomph improvements, is it? That's the key bit. Any improvement should make your writing better. Now, in class, we would have lots of time and lots of structure to do this. So to try and give you some structure, I've put together a checklist. And it's similar to the one that I think we used when you did your hexapulse. OK, so you can see down here, these are the questions you need to be asking yourself. And I will read them out in a second. This column... I've asked you to tick it, either if it is you're happy that you have done the right thing in the first place, or if not, you need to go back, make sure your writing does include it or is written in that way, and then tick it, okay? So by the end, I should see a tick on every single one of those, or you should see a tick on every single one of those. So the things, the questions that I want you to ask yourself about your writing, have I written in the first person and past tense? You are becoming or you have become whichever character you chose. So you are writing as them. And you're writing about something that's happened. So it's in the past. Does my writing flow? Is the cohesion to it? Well, there's lots of ways that can happen. But initially, you're just reading it through and checking that it all sounds good. The best way to do that is to read it out loud. If you can read it to mom, dad, brother, sister, the dog, it doesn't matter. OK, but hearing it always makes it sound slightly different. It picks up if you've missed odd words out or got the wrong verb tense in there. Right. Are my paragraphs structured well? Is there a clear beginning, build up, climax and resolution? There should be because you will have written in chunks. But just check that. Have I used a range of punctuation? A range is always important. You know the punctuation in year six and you can all use a whole range of it. So make sure you're showing that off. Make sure you're getting it in there. Right. Very important for some people. Do I have capital letters in the right places? You know if I'm talking to you and there's more than one of you. OK. Have I applied all the spelling rules that I've learned? OK, think very carefully about that. I'm seeing lots of just little slips appearing in people's writings. So just try and dredge that up from your memory banks, what the rules are. Do my subjects and verbs agree? Sometimes people use the wrong ones. And it's normally if your brain's going at 100 miles an hour, it's very easy to just slip up. They was. No, it should be they were. So just make sure that you haven't got any slips there. Have you used your range of sentence openers? Have you used dad waivers to help you? Have you used short, snappy sentences to build tension? If not, change it. Improve it. Does your sequence of events make sense? Now, that's really important and often gets overlooked. Does your story actually make sense? Does it follow through in order? It should do because of your plan. Have you used the show don't tell technique for your character's emotions? Have you used pathetic fallacy to convey mood or emotions? Lots of questions, but these are the things you should be asking yourself all along. And they're the things we've discussed as we've gone through. Have you included an inner monologue? And have you used at least one action sequence to increase the pace of your writing? Remember, at that climax, we kind of want boom, 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 boom. It's meant to be thrilling. OK, if you can tick all those off, you will have a piece of writing that you should be incredibly, incredibly proud of. If you can't, tweak it so that you can. But either way, I want this to be a really outstanding piece of writing and I'm really looking forward to reading your stories. So don't forget to upload me the finished article. OK, have a lovely long weekend and I'll see you for more next week. Bye.